All right, you lot. So Blueprint Blitz has finally arrived into Warzone after months now. I was expecting it quite a while back, but it's been finally added into the game as a little event. You're going to see it in the bottom right corner. So just like the event actually does say, you need to complete two contracts in the game and then a contraband is going to show. If you guys are completely unfamiliar and you don't remember like my year old videos that I did completing these into the game, they did used to appear randomly out of chests. But now because of this event that's currently in the game, all you need to do is complete any two contracts in either regular battle royale mode or you can do this in blood money or plunder. The two contracts that you kind of want to be doing are the supply runs. You know, you want to get an early game vehicle, either a truck for cover or a helicopter to zip around the map. Do supply runs, they're the fastest. Scavengers or recons are going to be second fastest. If you look at your map, you are going to see the Blueprint Blitz event there. So it says you're going to complete the two contracts, collect the case, and then extract the case. For a loadout, I do really suggest putting on smoke grenades for this because, believe me, especially in certain modes, you are going to get bombarded with bullets. It is a little bit bait when you call in a helicopter and it comes down. You know, you need to be in cover for a few seconds. But a good thing to actually note is that when you do the last contract, depending on where you actually picked it up, so that let's say you picked up a supply run round here and you completed it in this area, then the blueprint extraction area will most likely be in this area. And if you know people around here, you might want to consider doing contracts somewhere else. And you lot are probably sitting there and wondering, oh, what's the point of doing the Blitz thing? What are we actually going to be getting from this? Well, you're going to get some really old school blueprint variants that you actually can't get anymore. Stuff like the MP7's Mud Draw that you can only get from Bunker 11's Easter Egg. And dare I say, you can actually get probably the rarest weapon blueprint that everyone's been trying to find for ages, which is the AX50's Lonely Lagoon. Now, this gun came out ages ago. I remember doing a video about this super long time ago, and then they got rid of the contraband and it was never to be found again. Now, I'm pretty sure that they've put every single blueprint variant that you can get in the game from every easter egg i'm going to go over a few that you can get in the game but i'm just giving you a little tease on what you can get now here's a few tips that i'm going to give you you go into a game if you're playing this with a duo partner you should set out on a task one of you finds the supply runs and while you or your mate goes for the helicopter get the heli or mode of transportation just so you can maneuver around the map a little bit easier get the supply run done then get to the next one, do the second one, make sure you loot the contraband and then go to that area. In Plunder, you're going to have your loadout already. So you're going to have smoke grenades or, you know, even a shield. It's going to cover you massively here. And you've got to remember that right now in Plunder or even regular, it is going a bit crazy. Everyone is pretty much doing this. I'm seeing helis fly over to collect people's contrabands as they're putting them in. Using the trucks as cover or armored vehicles, even when you call this heli in, you're going to have like a 10 second or 15 second interval where you're going to need to camp before this helicopter comes in and then drops the bag down. You want to make sure you're camping somewhere pretty decently. Make sure you've got your smokes on. Just camp. As soon as that bag lands, that's when you want to go out of cover and actually deposit the contraband. You've got to play it pretty sneaky because you know what Warzone's like. People are going to be camping these areas. People are going to be hunting you. There's going to be a notification on the map when a helicopter's coming over. So you have to just play it a little bit more safer. I was able to get two contraband contracts actually done per game. So you can rush through this pretty quickly you just got to be wary of other players of course cool, sure, yeah you can do this in plunder which is more of a safer option i guess because if you die you are going to drop this contraband and you can kill other people and rob theirs if you really want to every time that someone does their second contract around the war zone they're going to naturally drop this contraband a lot of people are going to leave it on the map it does actually come up with a sign so you can either go to certain locations and pick them up or you can't now, the other thing to discuss is whether this is in a order. Like the very first Blueprints gun that I was able to get was the Type 63 Aggressor. And I feel like that's what everyone gets as their first one. And then when you complete that contraband, then the second one unlocks. And I got a Krig, then the M82. And it just kept going on like that. But then when I got to about my eight Blueprint unlocked, I kept getting the same ones. Now, I don't know if these contrabands are completely random when they drop or if they're in a set order. It is pretty weird. And it has been a history of these being pretty glitchy. But these are all of the ones that you can actually get in the game right now. Let's go over each one for you. But these are the nine blueprint variants that I know currently you can actually get into the game. The first one is going to be the Type 63. It is the Aggressor. And apparently this was a part of a Cold War Black Ops bundle that you could get back in the day. Just a basic looking World War II kind of army looking one. The second skin that I got was actually for the Krig 6. This one is called Hazardous. And this one actually came from the Rebirth Island event that happened quite a while back, if you guys remember it. So a lot of you guys who missed out on the events and there's a few weapons that, you know, you just couldn't be bothered to get or you had no chance to get. This is more of an opportunity for you to kind of get some weapons. The third blueprint variant is for the M82 and it is Frozen. Looks a little like this. Not too bad. I think it's the, probably one of the coolest looking blueprints for a uh, sniper. 
But the fact that it's on the M82 is a little bit of a disappointment in my eyes anyway. The next gun that you can get is the Marksman Rifle and probably one of my favourites that I still actually use on the gun today, which is the Fluid Dynamics. Which was a very old contraband that you could get back in the day, probably about a year ago now. I remember doing a video on this thing. I really like mixing this one with Damascus as well. I think it just fades in really well with it. I still use that on my Car 98 today. The next blueprint variant is the mud draw bar. Now, some of you guys probably will remember this from my really old Easter egg video that I did. And it is from the Bunker 11 Easter egg. So again, if you guys weren't part of Warzone back then, here's your chance to actually get the gun again and have a chance to do it. The Sith blueprint that I was able to find in the game was the Renegade Ranger. It is a basic looking M16. I can imagine a few of you are probably going to be a fan of this and some of you are going to be like, what is this? But it was released in Season 2 on Black Ops Cold War as part of the bundle outbreak as a free gift bundle. Again, something that you probably can't find anymore, but here it is. What does this actually look like with Dark Matter? I wondered. Oh my god, okay, yeah, maybe not. The seventh blueprint I was able to find in the game was the Till Drop or the 1911 Cold War pistol. Actually don't look too bad, looks quite unique. I can't remember how you actually get this one. If you guys will leave a comment on where you get this or where you found it, I don't actually know because I'm pretty sure I've got 90% of these guns. Anyway, I always go to look for them in game for you lot. The ninth blueprint variant is for the RPD for Black Ops Cold War and it is Noxious. Again, not too sure how you get this originally or where it comes from. Could be part of a season bundle that you got back in the day. I don't know. You guys are going to have to comment about this one. And the ninth weapon that I was able to find doing these contraband contracts is for the LW3 Tundra from Black Ops Cold War. And it's grey matter. Again, it kind of actually fits the theme of that 1911 that I just showed you. It's a pretty cool skin. Don't get me wrong. I'd actually put this on my gun. Pretty good. Can't remember where it comes from again. But those were all of the guns that I was able to find in the game. As of right now, I don't know if you can get some of the other guns from the Easter eggs. Like the CR56 Enigma, which you actually got from the Stadium Easter egg. I don't know if they put these guns in the game. They might have, but I can't confirm them for you because I haven't found them in the game myself. But I want you guys to actually leave a comment on what guns you found in the game so far. Just so I can kind of confirm, you know, which ones are actually in the game and which ones ain't in the game. But more or less, that is the event. I hope that me giving you these tips here and giving you an insight on the blueprints that you can get in the game contracts a little bit more into the game. Obviously, it's a risky task. Go into plunder with a few friends. You'll smash it out pretty easy. Just run right shields and smokes and you'll be good. If you're doing this in regular war zone, it's going to be a little bit more dangerous, but you might get a bit luckier. Just be aware on the map. When people die, they're going to drop contrabands and a lot of people don't go through the hassle of actually trying to complete these. As always, that's been me. And if you guys have been watching me since I've done my very first contraband video, like almost a year ago, I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll catch you guys later.